If you're looking to try Noify for your company, this guide will cover how to start an account and how to best set it up for your business. To get started, go to www.noify.com and click Start My Risk-Free Trial. Choose the plan that works best for your company, usually decided by the number of active jobs you'll have at a time. We'll go with growth here and you'll be prompted to enter your company name and the email address where you would like to receive your invitation to start your Noify account. Accept the Noify's terms and conditions and click Get Started. Once you see this confirmation screen, you can open up your email to open up your Noify account. You'll see you receive an email from the Noify team with a link that says click here to get started, you can also go to our login page and enter your email and the password that's been provided for you. This password will be resettable later. When you click this link, it'll pull you into a screen where you can click Start Now to start setting up your account. If you'd like to connect to QuickBooks, this will be the first step in the process. We can pull some information from your QuickBooks account into Noify. You will be prompted to log in here unless you're already logged into QuickBooks, in which case it will simply ask for permission and start the import. The next step will be entering some basic company information into Noify. Your company name should be copied over from when you signed up, but you can also enter your address. So this can be output onto your documents that you send through Noify, and you can also upload your logo for the same reason. I'll just choose any random image from my computer here. Looks like uh, I probably have an old Noify logo. And you can also put in additional information about your company in case you need this output onto your documents as well. For these values, you can reach out to support at Noify.com if you'd like to see them presented on any of your proposals or invoices or other Noify documents. The next step in the process will be so Noify can get a better idea of your business and turn on any necessary features. You can choose whether you're a trade or specialty contractor, a residential GC or remodeler, or another type of contractor that we haven't had listed here. We'll select trade here in Noify as this is our most common client. And it'll ask you about uh, what types of work you perform. I'll say that I do a mix of both contract and service work. This will turn on the service module. And I can also activate AIA style invoice documents in Noify as well. Both of these will be able to be turned on and off later on inside our Noify account. Step 4 will just be asking about uh, what type of features you're looking for in Noify. This is for our team's reporting and so we can show you the best information when we're giving you a demonstration. And Step 5 will be where you can set up users in your account. Again, you can do this later on once the account is set up, but I'll add a user here just so you can see how it's set up. I'll choose a user with regular access to Noify and put in my employee's information. And you'll be prompted to fill out a list of permissions below to control what this employee can and can't see when they're logged into Noify. We'll turn on all of the permissions for this user so they can have full access to Noify. We also strongly recommend that you click on the name of the default user that's set up with your account and swap it out with your name. This way it will display your actual name on the documents instead of the company admin name. The next step of this process will be setting up the labor rates for each of your employees that you set up here. These rates won't have any effect on payroll, but they will affect your labor costing as you track time against your projects. And you can set it up as hourly or yearly based off of how the employee is paid. And either way, it'll calculate an hourly rate for you. This is how we apply the cost of the job as they track their time. You can also set up your rules for overtime, whether it's daily or weekly, and how often it's earned. And you can set your billing rate that you charge clients and your budget rate for when you're estimating the cost of a job for each different type of employee that you have. In the last step, we'll offer you 50% off your first month subscription to Noify if you sit in on a training session with our team. Just let us know how you'd like to be contacted and what time. We'll choose the morning by email, and I'll put in my personal email address. And if we connect with you and set up a screen share session, we'll give you the discount code so you can get your first month at a discount. Once you finalize that up, you'll be prompted to enter a new password and it'll log you into your Noify account. Once you're logged into Noify, you'll be on the Getting Started screen. This will have some resources to help you get started with your new account. 
such as the ability to create a new job or to add some custom settings to your account. This will pull you into your admin section where we're going next. We'll cover this in a little bit more detail later on. You'll also see a checklist of different items that we recommend that you go through while you're setting up your account. None of this is entirely necessary, but we do recommend that you go through these as a best practice. Once we've finished the initial setup of Noify, we can go to the panel in the top right corner and click Admin section to continue customizing the account. These tabs will let you change any settings that you saw earlier when setting up the account, as well as add a couple additional ones. Clicking Company, you'll see that this is where we have the company name and address that we have set up earlier. Plus, we can also put in information such as the hours of operation of our company. Setting up these hours will make it easier to notify employees when it's time to check in in the field. And this is how you can also include Saturday and Sunday in your calendar if you're ever doing work on those days. You simply click the day and then choose to set the hours of operation for that day. This is also where you can change the currency if you're not using the US dollar with your Noify account. Once these settings are saved, we'll go to the top and click Structure. The company's structure will just let you organize your users in the account, such as if you have an office team as well as a construction team that you want separated. It's not necessary, but it can be nice for organization. Then clicking the Users tab at the top of the screen will allow you to add or edit any users that you have in your account. You can see that clicking on this user, I can change their role. We're going to change Jim from a bookkeeper to a foreman. Then I'm going to add another user to my account here. And we'll actually set up a bookkeeper user here as well. You don't need to set up every single employee as a user with full access. You can also add users that have only mobile access to Noify. You'll notice that if I click Add User and I choose User with Mobile Access Only to Noify, we'll get less permissions since these users only need to be able to track their time or track other employees' time if they're a foreman. The other type of user we have is a user with no access to Noify, which means someone will be entering their hours for them, but we do want them in the system for job costing. Once you have your users set up, you can go to the Equipment section to set up any equipment that you want to schedule and track the cost of. I'll add an excavator to my account here, and it'll prompt you for a role again. I'm just going to create a role called Equipment here. Equipment is not unlike users with no access to Noify and that someone can enter the time for them. And all of these new users will go into the rate section so I can set up the job costing rate for each of these new resources that we have created. Once I'm happy with my rates, I can click Save Changes. And now I'll go to the Customize tab of Noify. In my Customize tab, I can make some changes to my Noify account and how some things are managed, such as having the ability to upload a new company logo in case I ever need to make this update. We also have the ability to change where your invoice and purchase order numbering starts. If you update these numbers, the Noify will automatically start incrementing from the next number up from what you put in here. This way, if you're invoicing from another system, you can make sure that it takes off in that same place. Some of these features are just for setting up defaults, such as which invoice style you use when you're doing progress invoicing jobs. You can learn more about these by reaching out to our support team. And you can also turn on and off AIA Invoicing Noify and choose which invoicing style you're going to use for your jobs, such as if you want to use a percentage for your percentage of completion or a dollar figure or if you want to not use stored materials and just write in an overall dollar figure. And again, if you have any questions about any of these features, please reach out to support at noify.com and our team is happy to answer any questions you have about these settings. The next tab in Customize is to add tax rates. This way when I'm invoicing, I don't need to re-enter the tax rate every time. I can just save one in and I'll just write one in here. And now when I'm creating an invoice, I could select the NJ sales tax from my list. The Defaults tab will allow us to customize the emails that go out from Noify to your clients and vendors. This way, you don't have to rewrite this information every time. You can just customize here and input bookmarks to represent the data that will be specific to each job. You'll still be able to edit per each email that goes out, but this way you don't have to retype starting from scratch every time. 
and you can also input a default list of terms and conditions or terms and exclusions so they don't need to be re-entered onto every proposal that you generate through Noify. The Integrations tab will be for connecting Noify to softwares that aren't QuickBooks, and Tags are for filtering out your different jobs in your Contract Jobs module. If we go to the Documents tab in our Admin section, we can upload different files that are often sent out with our invoices that come through Noify. This way I don't need to re-upload these every time. Noify will give us a list of all of our documents here so I could select them when emailing out invoices, proposals, or anything along those lines. The QuickBooks tab is where you can manage your connection to your QuickBooks account. You can disconnect, reconnect, or set up the initial connection if you didn't do it from setup. Clicking this link will pull up a similar box to what we saw earlier. Then you can go to the audit to see a list of all actions performed in Noify and which user performed each of these actions. The last tab for the subscription will be for activating your Noify account when you decide to move forward or updating your subscription information. You'll be able to see how much you're going to be billed, and clicking here will give you a breakdown of what you're going to be billed for here. And then when you're ready to activate your account, you can click Activate Now and you'll be prompted for your payment information. This is where you would put in the promo code after attending your first training session with us. That's the basics of how to set up your Noify account. To learn more about using Noify, you can check out the other videos on our channel. The last thing we'll cover is the test and live switch that you'll see at the top of your screen when you first start your account. In test mode, you'll be able to use all of Noify and we'll pull data from QuickBooks, but we won't push anything back so you don't ruin any of your accounting. Then when you switch to live mode, you have the option to start from scratch and delete all of your data so we can re-import from QuickBooks and make sure that everything is synced up before pushing data across. This will only delete job data and will not ruin any of the settings that you have set up through this video. Typing delete and clicking confirm will clear out your account and log you out so you can log in and get started with Noify. If you have any other questions or if you would like help setting up your account, please reach out to support at noify.com and we're happy to help you.